high above the Susquehanna River. And we're in central Pennsylvania. And uh, I was on a road trip through the area. I was previously at Raymond B. Winter State Park. And on my way home, I decided to stop at this place. I've never been here. I have heard of it. And uh, it's quite the view out there. So it's a small park, but let's explore it while we're here. And uh, let's see what, has to, what it has to offer. Let's check it out. Let's go hit that trail. Gator out. All right, so here's a look from the main viewpoint. And there's several viewpoints along the uh, cliffs here. We're at an elevation of about 800 feet. And the river is uh, said to be 360 feet below. Although it looks like we're higher than that. What you're looking at there is the confluence of the north and west branches of the Susquehanna River. And that's the significance of the spot here. Also across the river is the town of North Umberland, a uh, classic central Pennsylvania blue collar town. You can see your train tracks there and uh, your main street and uh, just beautiful stuff. This uh, Shikolemi State Park, there's two sections to it. One that is down on the river itself, and it's like a, a boat launch in a marina. And then this area high above the river. But this path here with the yellow blazes is called the deer path. And uh, it encircles the area. It goes for about a mile or a mile and a half, I think. So we'll take this path and see if we see anything cool along the way. forest here has a completely different look and feel than the one up in the mountains of Bald Eagle State Forest. And that's one of the cool things about Pennsylvania is being at a mid-latitude and having a temperate climate allows for many different types of forest ecosystems within the state. Okay, Shikolemi, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but the park is named after an Iroquois Indian from the 1700s that was from this region and was a noted and respected member of the Indian tribes. He got along with the colonists and he was a, a famous figure from that time, just in case you were curious. We got some rain moving into the region, so I'm hanging out here under uh, Picnic Pavilion 4. But uh, we're going to finish this video. We're going to head out to the Overlook because uh, rain never stopped us before. Let's go. Okay, now listen, this is the first viewpoint as you drive into the park. This is the first one, it's the, the lowest one, but I think it's my favorite. This is directly the point where the two branches of the river, you can see they meet right down where I'm pointing. 
one coming from this way and one coming from up that way it's pretty awesome and the other part of the park the marina i think they call it is down there it looks like an island maybe in the river i think that whole section there is an island I really like this uh, this little park here. It's pretty cool. I can imagine it being very popular around sunset. But um, the only thing I don't like is this kind of beat up chain link fence on the edge of the uh, cliff here. But I guess it's necessary, you know, for the uh, to keep people from going over the edge. Rain's really starting to pick up now. Good thing we're almost back to the car. As I said, this is probably a very popular spot for like sunsets. And you got plenty of picnic tables up here, a little playground. This is a nice little park. I really, I'm glad I stopped. I do like it. All right, one last look at the community of Northumberland and the confluence of the Susquehanna River from the 800 foot prominence of Shikolemi State Park here in central Pennsylvania on a rainy April day. April showers bring May flowers. soup. I love soup. I need something to warm me up because I am freezing right now. But thanks for coming along on another adventure. I appreciate you watching and uh, look forward to seeing you on the uh, next place wherever that may be. We may be in the mountains, we may be by the ocean, but uh, who knows. You'll have to tune in to find <laughs>